Nice. Just uh, another PowerPoint before we're ready to leave this afternoon in about an hour and a half to go to the Kingfisher Resort for three days and three nights. This is a photograph of the Ark of the Covenant that is underneath the place of the cross within Jeremiah's grotto, discovered in 1982 on January the 6th at 2 p.m. by a saint named Ron Wyatt. Of course, the Ark of the Covenant uh, carried around the word of God. This house that we are in at Tulgham, Queensland, has several miracles of location. Now, those familiar with how Yahweh measures the earth are often taken aback by the perfection of the locations that he reveals. Yahweh is actually the angel that measures the temple referred to in the Revelation. Now, this is <laughs> the latest and last miracle. <laughs> we say that for now. Is a resort. It's 38.75 kilometres from this home. And of course, 3875 in the Greek concordance is comforter. God who is promised by Jesus himself to come as God Almighty in the flesh and teach man all things. So he's speaking about the time of his second incarnation. Here's uh, our house where we are recording this now, 103 North Shore Avenue, Tugum, Queensland. And the distance to Kingfisher Bay, 3875. And then just uh, 0 0.02 kilometres 3877 kilometres to the office of the resort where we are headed very, very soon. 3875, 3877, 3875 is comforter and 3877, of course, is the verse count within the King James 1611 Bible holding the word God. So that's how many verses, 3877. Now, Yahweh was born in St. Margaret's Catholic Women's Hospital its location is 3,877 miles to the South Pole. Again, the word God is found in 3,877 verses of the 1611 King James Bible. Now, one may wonder why the original King James Bible contains codes accurately identifying Yahweh via earth measure and a concordance compiled in 1830 era to read the numbers that he, a Catholic, would delve into the devil's King James Freemason Bible. King James authorised the handwritten manuscript. He was Catholic. Briefly, from Tugum to Yahweh's rebirth location, 105 Rothschild Avenue, Rosebury in Sydney, it measures 973 kilometres. This location to the last solar eclipse off the coast of Australia, it 942 miles away occurred along the 25 degrees south latitude. The word Jesus is found in the Great Hall Bible 973 occasions within 942 verses. Now Yahweh's rebirth location is 8,888.8 miles from the first solar eclipse after his rebirth date. So that occurred on January 25, 1944 14 days after the full moon of his rebirth date, January 11th, 1944. And of course, as you know, it is the word for Jesus in Greek gematria, where letters are used as numbers. It's an ancient art that he revived more than 20 years ago, once on the internet. In the next slide, we can see the two most important solar eclipses the 8888.8 mile and the other 940 two miles to his rebirth home, where he lived until he was 942 days old. Now, the duration of time from March the 17th, which was yesterday, in 1923, the, when the first eclipse occurred in the series after lunation zero was set at December 18th, 1922. There are 32,750 days until the last, or the 202nd masonry layer, and that was November the 14th, 2012. Michelle, who is the reincarnate of Mary Magdalene, 
a dim-witted woman then as she is today, the same he had to drive seven devils out of. Unfortunately, these demons wait for her return and she was reborn March the 19th, 1946. We see that she was 32.75 years old when she gave birth to Rhiannon, who is the mother of Alaska and Trinity Lee. These demons wait for the person to be reborn and entering back in make the person seven times worse than the former. Today she is a thief, a liar, a gambler and is one of the biggest enemies of truth, a very firm agent of the devil. Yahweh's life was to meet head on the evils of her family for out of her came his grandchildren via the Holy Spirit overcoming the evils of her family connected to the evils of my first wife Eileen, the town harlot. Yahweh's challenge to Lucifer was no matter what evils it can arrange, he will overcome and defeat a world possessed with reincarnated, demonized souls sent back for judgment. Yahweh offered the whole family forgiveness in response. They attack his holiness, Pope Emeritus, the finest man that he has ever met. Now the name Rothschild indicates the devil in man. It, the world, bankers, dominates all things, printing money at will, buying up corporations worldwide with useless pieces of paper. Money in this corrupt system is created off your enslavement called the straw man. And Yahweh has books at lulu.com, they're free downloads. Or you can have a soft cover, The Straw Man Burneth. It explains your enslavement via selling you as a bond through your birth certificate. Note the price there that was not set by Yahweh. These things are set by the, the sites themselves of 22.45. Twenty two forty five in Hebrew is love and in Greek it is how much. Now in Yahweh's last letter to his holiness, whom he has renamed Pope Peter of Rome, since he has recognized Yahweh as the Christ. And as the Church of Rome began with Peter, the rock, it ends with the reincarnation of Peter as Joseph Aloysius Ratzinger, quoting, Upon this rock I will build my church. Now Yahweh mentioned a book, The Australian Mercantile Law, 9th edition. It fell from a closet, opening at page 255, when Gabriel spoke to Yahweh and said, Do the numbers. <laughs> this is a photo of the page that it opened to on that fateful day. And it was December the 4th, Saturday, at, in 1999. And it was all about altering a customer's cheque, which, of course, is what he was accused of doing during that famous court case. Now, the vowel totals are 3168, being Lord Jesus Christ. Lord 800, Jesus 888, Christ 1480, add them all together, you've got 3168. 3168 in the Bible is also Ezekiel and as a word is found in Ezekiel 2424 and 2424 is Jesus in the Greek concordance of the 1611 Bible. It's listed as the 2424th word. Now it all occurred December 4th, 1999. Yes, that's the uh, birth date and death date of King William I, the Lion of Scotland, the ancestor of Yahweh. He was born 1143 and died the same date in 1215. Here is a map of Eagle Road Harcourt and the measure of Eagle Road, north and south, back to Yahweh's place of birth is 8 
H8 miles. This was Harcourt, Victoria, back to Sydney, Rosebury, 105 Rothschild Avenue. His P.O.B. Place of birth. <laughs> there it is there. So, the measure of a man is what the creation is about. It's all about Yahweh. Brian Leonard Go Lightly Marshall and His Holiness has had the humility to recognise the truth. And it's all rather blatantly obvious when you look at the image of the Shroud of Turin. What's that, babe? Mm. Now, from the Rothschild address to Tugum, it measures 973 kilometres. Again, that's the number of uh, times that the word Jesus is found in 942 verses. When we zoom in on the house at Tugum, Beside it is Kingfisher Parade. I've ridden my bicycle along there numerous times and walked. Now, we are daily talking to His Holiness, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, and we await his meeting with His Holiness, Pope Francis I. That is scheduled for Saturday, 23rd, 2013. When the stars overhead for Rome are just born and a fire lit, engulfing a flame. Now we sent His Holiness a photograph of Yahweh's reincarnated Mother Mary. She was born 8.88888 years before Yahweh's 69th birthday, which was just uh, two months ago now. She was born 880 weeks after Yahweh married his second wife. Eight, eight, eight. Eight, eight, eight weeks. What did I say? <laughs> oh, sorry. 888 weeks after I married... <laughs> no, after Yahweh married his second wife, Pauline, on February the 14th, 1987. Mm. Yahweh's just saying another demon. Now, her name today is Trinity Lee Nixon. So this is Mary. We're talking about... His mother Mary, Jesus' mother Mary, was reborn and named Trinity Lee Nixon. Her father is Jade Nixon and he is a saint. Jade was killed in World War II and then reincarnated. Yahweh and he have talked at length of his life and he recalls the moment he died. His first daughter, as a baby, said to Yahweh, I was your mother. Daphne died and would have been 88.8 .8 years old when she was reborn as Alaska. Now Yahweh's mother Daphne Golightly was reborn Alaska on 11, August 11th, 2001, the 222nd day of the year, and Yah's body weight of 222 pounds. It is also the word truth is found in the King James 1611 Bible, 222 times or verses and, it, and the same for the word wisdom so truth and wisdom are each found in 222 verses now Trinity the reincarnated Mary was reborn 21st of February 2004 so she is younger by 2.529 years younger than Alaska and is kathoreo to behold fully clearly see Yahweh himself was 3136 weeks and four days old when Trinity was reborn, his mother Mary, the mother of Jesus. 3136 is Martha in Greek and 3137 is Mary. So that's identifying there. Martha and Mary, the mother. Martha, of course, is myself and I was pregnant with the twins at the cross and is the way that's been provided for Mary who looked after one of the twins after Martha uh, died. It was, all, it was all part of the plan. One of the twins, went to, James, went to be with Mary Magdalene in Lyon, France and was raised there while Joshua remained in England, Cornwall, to be raised by his mother Mary. So this is the way that we all get back to the earth now. And uh, so yes, Mary, Martha, Mary. Well, people shouldn't deny that's how they got here in the first place, even mm. before last week. Mm. So 
exactly. Now, Yahweh's age in years on the date that Mary was reborn as Trinity Lee in Hebrew from 6009, he was 60.11 years old, is to seek deeply. And this number is the verse total for the word Lord in the Old Testament. 601 in Greek is apokalupto, to take off the cover and reveal or disclose. So that's exactly what's happening now. This is the revelation of the Holy Mother of Jesus, Mary, who she is today. And below it is a photograph with Alaska on Yahweh's knee and Trinity to his right. So he's holding both of his mothers, Daphne and the Holy Mother Mary. So appropriate to be revealed now to the Holy Mother Church, the Catholic Church of Rome. Here they are. <laughs> so happy always to be with him. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Come unto me, all ye that labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am meek, and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. That's Matthew eleven twenty seven through to 30. And I think that's exactly what Holy Father, Pope Benedict, is feeling. His burden has been made easy. For you have to, he's come unto you, and you've given him rest. For his soul. Yep. Hand it over to the Christ. He's here, he's fixing it, taking up his position as head of the church. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is but the Father, and who the Father is but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. That's from Luke ten twenty two. And here she is. Holy Mother Mary of Jesus, Jesu Maria, reborn as Trinity Lee Nixon, a beautiful child. Here she is, dressed as an angel. Her older sister Alaska, in curlers, getting ready for dress up, watched closely by Trinity Lee off camera. Yahweh must have taken 10,000 photographs over the years of babysitting his two mothers. And what fun they've had in his presence. <laughs> Looking all very grown up. And here they are. Alaska and Trinity. Mary and Daphne, the mothers of Jesus. Here's Trinity Lee, a quick change in the white gown with a slight alteration to make it fit. A bit closer. Here she is in white satin. White satin has been the theme lately, hasn't it? Nights in white satin. Now Alaska would always say hi or goodbye with a kiss. Yahweh had the camera as she walked closer when he took this snap when she was two years old. <laughs> So what happens? Uh, Yahweh telephoned Rhiannon, the girl's mother, his stepdaughter. It was yesterday, the 17th of March, 2013, telling her that we have been talking to His Holiness Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI daily and that he believes that Brian is the Christ. She immediately said the Facebook page is a fake. In other words, that he, the man who looked after her children, who has never wavered, showing the absolute proof of who he is, has created the Facebook account. 
Yahweh said, look, we'll be going to Rome. Would she and the children like to come? She replied, I have to work. It never ceases to amaze him, the depths of evil. What will his grandchildren think if they could have been with us in Rome to meet his holiness, the Pope? Here she is. Rhiannon. Yahweh thinks that his holiness, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, will be as stunned as he is. However, he cannot keep secrets. His book, his life is an open book. And the book, the word for which is Bible. <laughs>